learning how to read for tonight. Um, this is very, very terrifying. I'm only doing this for Uma. <sighs> Why did everyone have to be so funny in their speeches and funny and smart and they know what they're saying? Why do actors have to have to, have to be able to speak? It's so annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to read these things. <laughs> okay. Um, Robert Pattinson. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, <laughs> uh, an iconoclast long before she was a star I hope I pronounced that right um, Uma came to New York at 15 to pursue acting first grabbing our attention in Terry Gilliam's The Adventures of Baron Munchausen playing the goddess Venus it's not a bad role for a kid new to the business she followed that up <laughs> she, I, love I, got, I got one person <laughs> um, she followed that with a seductive period piece Dangerous Liaisons, already showing signs of the varied, unpredictable resume she had built during her career. Before long, she delivered great performances in a series of roles that had one thing in common. They had absolutely nothing in common. Uh, the bohemian June Miller, a brilliant genetic scientist, an 80s Jersey girl with a chip on her shoulder, comic book supervillain, and of course, the cold as ice gangster girl Mia Wallace in Pulp Fiction, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award. A few years later, she won a Golden Globe. Sorry, I keep just running over people's applause. Just keep applauding the whole time. I just call you up. Uh, she won a Golden Globe for her role in Hysterical Blindness, which she also executive produced. Um, I met Uma on a movie called uh, Bella Me, which is a pretty crazy experience. I got a clap. <laughs> it's available on video on demand. <laughs> Um, she, played, uh, she played Madeline, my wife, who is meant to be more intelligent, more talented, more charming, wittier, and uh, better in bed than me. It was obviously very difficult to cast. And um, when she walked into, the re uh, walked into the rehearsal for the first time, I'm going to try and actually speak for myself. Um, um, I think the two, the duel, the duo of directors collectively shed their pants, and um, I did a little bit as well, and, um, and it kind of, the whole movie followed on from that point. Oh, God, never make me do a speech again. Jesus. Um, <laughs> she has a presence that's uh, almost overwhelming. Uh, people momentarily forget who they are when they're in her orbit. Um, it's an amazing thing for actors playing opposite her, but it's even better to watch the mayhem it causes at rap parties where Hungarian barmaids start dressing her in their lederhosen and uh, <laughs> bewildered hotel managers feel compelled to sing karaoke with her for literally hours. And people, crew members who haven't smoked in years um, suddenly start chain smoking because she provides bowls of ten, literally tens of thousands of cigarettes everywhere for no apparent reason. <laughs> um, She's incredibly funny, and she has a fierce intelligence that always manages to find depth in the characters she plays. She's proved herself equally adept at drama, comedy, uh, action, Hollywood blockbusters and independent films, big screen filling characters, and quiet emotional performances throughout a career that's been, quite frankly, undefinable. In every role she plays, there's always something that is distinctly Uma. She's a producer, an actor, an artist, a mother, and truly one of a kind. Let's take a look at some of her amazing work. Thank you.